Podcast. Hey everybody, well, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. We are a web show all about the movies, and just so you know, there is no post credit sequence on the show. So you don't have to sit through the credits. It's not a big deal. Yeah, not we don't a Marvel do that. movie. It's like yeah. we don't do any kind of are stuff. Are you sure Nick Fury's not gonna come and recruit us for well, something? Maybe no. Pretty no. sure but he won't. No, no. No, he's not gonna. Nick Fury does not like us. He doesn't give no. a shit about he's, us okay. or what we do. Anyway, I am your host, Steve Skelton. I am here with fellow film pig Todd Robert Anderson. Hey everybody. Our third pig, Stephen Falk, isn't with us, but he is working very, very hard on you're the worst on, on FXX. On his behalf? On, hey, everybody. Yeah. And uh, uh, we will be hearing from him later, but uh, our thoughts and prayers are with him. Yes. In his place, we have a very special guest, Alan McLeod. Hi. Alan hey. McLeod. Uh, how many times have you done the show now? I think so, this is my third time. Third yeah. time. Yeah, a friend third, of the show. Third time's the turd. Time. Always, yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a turd. It's a turd. It's a turd show. Yeah. We're a turd show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome everybody, and let's toast a little popcorn. Oh, uh, uh, popcorn. Mm, oh, mm, 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 mm. oh. Your popcorn looks cloudy. Cause you must ice. You put ice in your ice popcorn? In it. Well, because it, yeah. it's humid here in Los oh, Angeles. Jesus now, Christ. Of rain. Yeah. yeah, why am I wearing some... this hoodie? I don't know. I don't know why. What does it say right there? It says, you're the worst. You're the Can worst. We get a shot at it, Roscoe? You're the worst. Oh, that's an official You're the Worst hoodie. Yeah, because this is the beginning of our uh, Worsties series oh. on the pigs. Alan oh, fantastic. being our, the first in a series of You're the Worst mm -hmm. performers. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. It's we've used we've used all of our deep, deep Hollywood connections to uh, book these stars. Yeah. That you and Steve. Our worked. booking yeah. agents have been working around <laughs> yes. the clock, around the clock, to make this happen. So uh, you have that to look forward to in the coming weeks, everybody. But let's get things started with some rash judgments. Oh, stop it. No, 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 I won't. What are rash judgments, you might say, or not? I don't know if you're watching this. Rash judgments are where we take a look at upcoming movies and tell you, the hardworking viewer, whether you should or should not go see them based entirely on our own dickish opinions. Mm. We haven't seen the movies. No. We don't necessarily know anything about them. Maybe we looked at a trailer. Maybe we started to do that and then looked at porn. Mm, probably. But, you know, mm, Mostly knows? incest porn. Yeah, but Todd, do you have a rash judgment? Uh, I do. Uh, my rash judgment is for a movie called The End of the Tour. Ooh. And it stars Jesse Eisenberg. Lex Luthor. And Jason Siegel. Not Lex Luthor. Who is wearing a, a security blanket on his head. Fine. And he's a novelist, you see, and he's going on a tour, showing the nation his book. And Jesse Eisenberg is a reporter from the Rolling Stone magazine, oh. which is a rock and roll magazine uh, that follow, likes to follow writers sometimes on their tours. And they go on a tour, and they become buddies, uh, and they listen to REM music, and they realize that, uh, that life is great, and it seems like a heartwarming indie picture with famous movie stars, um, and I think I will probably look at it if it's on HBO, and I'm still getting that for free from my provider. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll probably just uh, go see Mad Max Fury Road again. I have seen mm. Mad Max Fury Road twice in theaters. Uh, is it good both times? It was equally awesome the second time. All mm. right, all right, all right. So that's a big endorsement for Mad Max. Do, yeah. you, Thanks, think, do you think that the end of the tour, their Tour, you know, overlaps with like the tour from Almost Famous of that band. I'm oh, that, yeah, that's that's yeah, right. yeah, it's the same. Maybe seems the same like it's the same era. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's highly possible. Maybe there's like an Easter know. egg in there. Or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So look out yeah. for that Almost Famous Easter egg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I love uh, a good stay through the entire movie for the Easter egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what movies are about now, mostly, is Easter eggs. Because yeah. you know, the movies yeah. themselves are not very soon, entertaining. Soon no. movies will just be comprised entirely of post-credit sequences. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Stephen Falk isn't with us this episode, but he does have a rash judgment. Oh, oh and, is the theater working? Yeah, no, we have it in the Film Pigs Auditorium if we want to uh, sure. adjourn and uh, go, go uh, take a look. So yeah, let's go, go, let's go. Let's right. head over there. and uh, Oh! All right, um, as... One of the foremost Tom Cruise apologists as an actor, not as a human being. Um, I have to say that the the movie I'm doing a rash for, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, does not look great to me. I will probably see it, 
because I, I'm a cruisologist. I, I think he's a great movie star and he runs real good. But, you know, there, there comes a point where you should probably start take, stop taking off his shirt, which should probably be, be, be a couple of years ago. And he probably shouldn't, shouldn't be tortured anymore, shirtless. <laughs> he, he likes to do that. Oh, boy. You know, this has the old Mission Impossible crew. Christopher McQuarrie, um, who I think wrote Usual Suspects and directed a few movies since then, uh, wrote and directed this. Uh, maybe it'll be good. I, I'm hopeful. I'm going to see it. The last one made a lot of money when he was hanging off a, a, a building in Dubai. Wasn't that, that Mission Impossible? I think uh, this there's like motorcycling and stuff like that. I'll see it. Like that was Woo! something, huh? That he was, was some weird. Judgment. He was weirdly on the fence about Tom Cruise, but he's definitely going to see the movie. It was weird. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I mean, I, I, I defend Tom Cruise to the end. I, I'm with, I'm with Steven. You, I'm going to go see that shit. Your team, Cruise. It. Definitely team Cruise. He's 100% Mr. Showbiz, and he does it all himself. He's going to be on the plane. He's going to be yeah. flying. Yeah, that looks pretty yeah. sweet. And I read an article that analyzed um, how he runs in movies and why. It's awesome. It's because he's only great. three feet tall. And... Well, it's because he has very good form. And what I remember from the article was it's because, you know, he does the slicey thing, which uh, is a real mm -hmm. runner thing that helps uh, with your aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. But he also has, like, a, a very rapid cadence in mm -hmm. his legs. Because he's got shorter legs, well, he's so short, he's got to But it's, all, but it's also, but that's a real kind of running technique yeah. for uh, solid straight running. And it keeps you still, keeps your upper body more still. Right. So it's easier, so it's, he's not bopping around. When he's good oh. at running and fast that's why. on camera. Yeah. Yeah, because when I run on camera, I look—you look like, like Steven Seagal. Uh, no, I wish. <laughs> I look way spazzier than that guy. He did that <laughs> this thing when he ran, but he was still uh, stiff on the upper body. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm like, and my feet are big, like, and I like flop around. It's horrible. You're like, Awful. The, you're like, the, you're like that guy, like a, like a, like a used car lot. Yeah, I'm a fucking windsock. <laughs> Floppy windsock. Yeah. That's me running. All right, well, that's Todd's a floppy windsock. Alan, do you have a <laughs> rash judgment for us? I do. I have a rash judgment for the new film, Vacation. Ooh. It's a Wait, wait, wait. Va what are you talking about? Vacation sets from the 1980s. Yeah, early well, 80s. It's Chevy Chase. That's where you're wrong. Now there's a oh. remake, reboot, sequel, call it what you will. It is loosely connected to the original 1983 Vacation. Whoosh. What? Because I think how it works is that Chevy Chase plays Ud Helms, Ud Helms' dad, Ed Helms' dad, and oh, so Ed Helms I is think, Rusty. I think Ed Helms is rusty, rusty from oh. the original Vacation. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And now it's Rusty's turn to go on a vacation. So he's like right. the fourth or fifth Rusty. Yeah. Yeah, he's a the rusty. That's in a long tradition of rusty actors being, re, re, you know, it's like, it's like Doctor Who. Are yeah, they yeah. taking into the... Rusty is the doc, is the America's Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> Are they taking into account the whole franchise's mythology? Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, at this you're, point, yeah, you're I'm really not, putting out on a hot I'm not seat really here, sure. Todd. I'm, I'm not really I just, sure. I want Look, I did him, write it. I did yeah, direct it, but I don't know anything. <laughs> I guess what I'll say is... I'm interested in the new vacation. I think it looks funny. I saw the trailer. It looks legit, 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 legitimately funny. No, but uh, uh, the thing about it is that it promotes vacations, which is maybe, you know, not good for America. Because yeah, in this thing economy, about this economy, you don't need to be taking vacation. You need to work. You need to work to make that money, yeah. okay? Yeah. A lot of times, too, the anticipation of the vacation and the memories of the vacation are equal to the actual experience yeah. of the vacation itself. And then so it's like, what's really the point of the vacation? Oh, so they I should total recall it. Just get yeah. like memories inserted yeah. into their brain and not bother with the... Yeah. So I think I worry about people going to see this and thinking, hey, maybe I should go on a vacation. No, you shouldn't. You should stay home and make that money. You got to make the money make that money and yeah. then uh, the economy will be uh, better for it. Yeah, spend less time with your friends and family mm -hmm. and seeing the world mm -hmm. and more time making money so mm -hmm. we write America's yeah, economy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's simple. Yeah. It's a simple yeah. formula. That's America. So go see vacation, yeah. but maybe don't be too tempted to take a vacation. Maybe seeing vacation would be your vacation. That's good there advice. it is. That's Actually, advice. that's brilliant. Because yeah. it's like, a, what, a, like an hour, 45-minute yeah. vacation? Well said. Well said. Yeah. Well, that was rash judgments, everybody, and I think it was a rousing success. I enjoyed it. Just across it. the board. Now, one thing the film pigs do, and you know, you watch the show, it's very entertaining, it seems lighthearted, but 
It's really heavy hearted. It's very heavy hearted Underneath. because the film pigs have a, a serious side. We love film, we love movies, we love uh, everything that goes into making movies and we like to give back and we give back through our master classes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, where we mm -hmm. teach you the ins and outs and nuts and bolts of how movies are made. If it's directing, if it's acting, if it's writing, anything, anything we uh, like to teach that. Yeah. And we have something very special this episode is a peek into one of our master classes oh, that yeah. Alan T he took. Uh, uh, was involved in and mm -hmm. I think it really helped him. Yep. I mean, it did really help us, me. Yeah. I, I mean, I was there. I saw yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. As your he changed as an actor. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll see the results in my future acting work. You know. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah. I hope yeah. so. It's very exciting, Todd. I mean, what do you think we should do now? Man? Oh, uh, you know, I think uh, I think we should roll it. Hello, and welcome to another Film Pigs Masterclass, our award-winning educational series that teaches you everything you need to know about making movies. What awards have you won? In this Masterclass, we will be taking a look at an acting technique that's of particular interest to our guest, Alan McLeod. Your seminar on sweeping junk off desks has been on my personal wish list for a while. So when a slot opened up, I was eager to get in there. And I have to say that it really helped me hone my craft. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's take a look at some footage from that seminar. Hi, Alan. Welcome to Sweeping Junk Off Desks. I am really looking forward to working with you. I'm so excited to learn from you. <laughs> okay, well take a seat and we'll see what you got. And remember, the first time is just about assessing your current skill level with sweeping junk off desks. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> That's okay. Use that energy. Now, you've just received the worst news of your life, and there is nothing you can do about it. You want to lash out, but the only way to do that is with this junk on the desk in front of you. And sweep! Hard. I don't know what to do. It's hard. Don't it's beat yourself up. It's Nobody tough. gets it right on the first try. Let's try some basics, okay? We'll just start there. All right. Okay, remember to sweep. You have to sweep. Not visualize this desk empty and sweep it. Sweep. That's a push. That's a push. Remember? You have to sweep, not push. Don't swat. Sweep. Sweep. That's it. Did you feel that? That was a sweep, yeah. not a push, yeah. not a swap, a sweep. You did a great job. Yeah. Do you feel good? Yeah. You, you should feel good. This yeah. desk has nothing on it because of a sweep. Yeah, that was good. I don't know, I can't do this. Maybe I'll take this book away. Alan, I mean, Alan, can we get rid Alan, of that? Leave the book, leave the book, Alan. It's too much, it's Alan, too much. Alan, do you remember when you swept that up? No, you remember yeah, how yeah, it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you started and then you did two objects, you did the beverage two, cup that's and the Kleenex, that's it. That's and all then you, you did do. this, yeah, then you did this. I was having a weird you know day. No, you could do all three, no, now it's just a whole desk. No, that's all it is, it's a whole desk. You could sweep. No, You could sweep the desk, Alan. You're getting in your head. Come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, damn it! Ah! 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 <laughs> you did it! You did it, buddy! Wow! Yeah. Welcome aboard! You are a desk sweeper! Look at that! Oh, nothing! It's clean! Nothing. It's wow. been swept! You are a master! You are a master! I did it! Wow, not everybody can do something that great. Welcome. How's it feel? It feels like Christmas. <laughs> it looked like Christmas. Wow, now that seems like a really intense workshop. And that's just a taste. The Sweeping Junk Off Desk Seminar really opened my eyes to how diverse the technique can be. I learned everything, the zero to 60. <laughs> the, hey, what's this stuff? I hate it. The angry kitty. 
and so much more. I can't recommend this seminar enough. It changed my life. Wow, well, we can't ask for a better endorsement than that. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> now, watch out for future seminars, and happy sweeping. It changed my life. Alan, that, like, the transformation? Yeah. That just in that like snippet, and that wasn't even the whole thing. Yeah. We just saw the, yeah. the the bits and pieces. Most that, but that's what makes a great actor. Yeah, is the willingness, the tenacity. Yeah, you know, to stick mm -hmm. it out, to get to where you need to be, to be the craftsman. Always that looking for something you new. are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Every and never scene, giving up. Every never scene up. is really sweeping something off a desk. You know, if you think about it, mm -hmm. metaphorically. Literally, you know. It's so simple. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it, it takes you forever to get there. Yeah. And when you realize it, yeah. you're like, yeah. why, uh, you know, if I just known the whole time? But mm -hmm. it's the journey that gets you there, and that's, you have, yeah. to, you have to get there. Yep. Well done. Thank well you. Done. Just hey, well done for, you know, thank you for letting me uh, take the class. Oh, that's I mean, great. It's having really it's, booked this up is, on, didn't the website crash? Like, um, it's crashed. Yeah, the, yeah, but, but that's just because we well, weren't paying uh, for the upkeep. Oh, okay. Oh. There are technical yeah. issues. An anonymous hacked us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we, yeah. son yeah. of a gun. Yeah. Okay. So, God, uh, whatever. Yeah, but, and, and don't hack anyway. anybody these days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez. Anyway, this was a great show, you guys. I, I thought so. I, I had a tremendous time. I thought mostly because of Alan. I mean, oh, well, Alan. of course, mostly because of Come Alan. Come on. Hey. Uh, but I, I want to say a big thank you to Todd Robert Anderson. Oh, thanks. Big thank you to Stephen Falk. Now, Alan, as you know, is on You're the Worst, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you'll be seeing him more mm -hmm. uh, this September uh -huh. uh, on FXX. Oh, yeah. But also, you've got some more stuff coming up. On Comedy Central, look for the new season of Drunk History. Drunk Whoa, History. Drunk History. Right. Third season. Are you, are you drunk again? Uh, I am you, drunk again. Oh, right now, I might be drunk yeah. again. <laughs> but on Drunk History, yeah, as well. That's on that, great. too, yes. So, delightful. This show and that show, I get drunk oh, That's no going to be good. Show. Yeah, watch out for that, because that's hilarious. Yeah, um, Drunk History you. is the best. And uh, so, you know, I think we covered everything, you guys. I think the only thing left to say is, uh, until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. Yeah! Mm. Wow, great show, you guys. It's fantastic. I'm proud of you both. There is no post-credit sequence. No, don't wait for it. It's Nick Fury. Uh-oh, go down the stairs and go get him. Yeah. I'm getting Nick Fury. Todd's I'll, getting Nick Fury. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm taking the elevator back up. Oh, uh -oh. did you see Nick Fury? What's wrong with the yeah, elevator? Yeah, he's down there. He says he wants us to be uh, in the Avengers. Oh, we're, good. we're getting the new Avengers, you guys.